Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to August 2018 monthly reading. This is for Sagittarius for August 2018. All right, if this resonates with you, Sagittarius, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. If this doesn't resonate with you, Sagittarius, please do check your moon rising and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Sagittarius. For August 2018. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So either this is what you're wanting here. I feel like this is the goal, right? Settle down, putting down roots with somebody, possibly someone from your past, because I'm just going to show you, okay? The outcome here is someone from your past coming back. All right. And I feel like that card, that six of cup card is going to be showing up in every, nearly every reading. It's already showed up in Libra's um, because we're in that Mercury retrograde. Okay. So we're revisiting things, right? So I feel like this is the goal here. You really want to put down roots. You want to do some celebrating. You want a domestically happy home life. You just want things to be settled, right? Four of wands here, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. At the heart of the reading, we have this ace of wands. So again, more fire energy. More fire energy. This is a passionate new beginning here. This is a lot of passionate communication. This is very sexually charged energy here, okay, at the root of this reading. But it is a new beginning, okay? A lot of attraction here. But what's crossing that is someone is stuck in the past, okay? Whether that's you or the other person. Someone is very focused on a past situation or a past person. They can't see the opportunities that are, are you know, coming their way because they're kind of stuck on somebody in love with somebody from their past. Okay? And we're all truly revisiting the past right now, myself included. Four of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. At the root of the reading, I feel like there is some sort of unexpected communication, unexpected knock on the door. What's going on, right? Somebody wants to talk, and it's a total surprise. Expect the unexpected with this Knight of Swords here. Okay, they're on fire. They're coming in fast. Okay, that's at the root of this reading. So this is more air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And they want to talk. They want to discuss this. They want to offer some truthful communication. In the past, we had this King of Pentacles. Now this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So this was a very um, stable energy. This is, uh, as a person, male or female, they are very abundant. This is boss type energy here. They offer stability, commitment, protection, 
and loyalty, definite financial stability in a relationship. They can offer you all of that and more. Okay, they may work in construction or real estate, anything to do with land or finances. Okay, you may have, you know, be stuck on somebody that you may have worked with in the past. Okay, and that person is showing back up. Somebody that you were extremely attracted to. Okay. Um, in the near future, we have this Queen of Swords energy. Now, this is air. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, as an energy, um, as a person, male or female, this person makes head over heart decisions. Very intelligent person. Very strong. Very determined. Okay, as an energy they want clear communication. They want clarity. They want to get through the nonsense, the bullshit, and get to the point. Okay, so I feel like clear communication is coming. All right, and offering clarity to this situation. Here we have the Two of Pentacles in the best possible outcome. I feel like a decision is going to be made here. Somebody's going back and forth, back and forth about it in their head. Should I um, take this offer? Should I go back to the past? What, what is happening? You know, whatever this decision is for you, however it resonates for you, but just know that it is a tough decision here. Okay. Um, should I move forward? Should I go backward? You know, that kind of thing. Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you in the situation, the wheel of fortune. Things are changing. It's turning. Decisions are going to be made, okay? You may feel like this is destiny. This is fate. This is what is meant to be. You may feel like this is a karmic lesson. You may just say, here you go, universe. I cannot make this decision. Please guide me in the right direction. Kind of a Jesus take the wheel moment, right? What's coming towards you is a lot of healing. We have um, Virgo energy, okay? So Virgo may be coming towards you, but I feel like you're going to have to go in deep inside yourself to make this decision. I feel like, honestly, it's a decision between a passionate new, brand new connection that you're dealing with right now and then someone from your past that you're still hung up on. That's what I'm getting here that may have just unexpectedly shown back up into your life because here we are in Mercury retrograde, right? So you're going to have to dig deep. You're going to have to dig deep and do some healing and figure out exactly what it is that you want to do here. In your hopes and your fears, you want more information, okay? You want more communication and you want more information. You may be spying on this person to see if they're legit, to see what the hell's going on, to kind of make sure that, you know, the things they are saying are true and accurate before you make any kind of decision, all right? More air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And the overall for everything is this past soulmate connection. This soul, past soulmate connection that has popped back up here. Okay, so we're going to clarify this. You may choose to go with this past person. Okay, Six of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Strong soulmate energy there. So let's see. Please clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. Please clarify. Reunion. Okay, this is a reunion with a past soulmate connection. And I feel that that is the decision that you're going to be making and you're going to be celebrating here, just like that Four of Wands at the beginning of the reading. Okay, I feel like, you know, you're going to um, put down roots with this person. You may be a little defensive, 
okay, and trying to figure out if they're sincere in this communication that they're giving you. You may, um, they may be really fighting hard for, you know, to start this um, passion up between the two of you again. We have the Seven of Wands here, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they're like, I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. This is what I want. This is where my heart's at because I feel like right now a passionate new beginning uh, was started, but you weren't taking any offers because you were stuck on this past person, okay? And they have come back and they have put you in um, that decision of should I take them up on this offer or should I not, right? What is everybody going to think? But ultimately, you're going to follow your heart here. And I feel like you're reuniting with a past person here, Sagittarius. Okay. And I feel like that's going to be going on a lot. <laughs> the next month. All right, this is for Sagittarius for August 2018 for Sagittarius. What is going on for Sagittarius for August 2018? Yeah, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, okay? You may have felt that they didn't really give a shit about you or vice versa. They didn't really give a shit about them. But I honestly am thinking that somebody was trying to start something new with you and you refused them because you're stuck on this past soulmate energy. I think that's why that card is here. And you and this past person are going to have a set down, a heart to heart conversation and honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And that is going to cause this celebration. It's going to cause this reunion here. Okay. It's a beautiful thing, Sagittarius. It's beautiful. If you want a private reading with me, just let me know all the information's down below in the description box. And I'll be going live later around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the daily energy. I'm going to get as many of these as I can out for you guys. And then, of course, hopefully finish up by tomorrow. Um, hopefully finish up by tonight, but <laughs> sometimes that ain't so easy. Um so, of course, we're going to have the dailies coming your way and Love, Luster, Loss on Friday next week. We're going to have How Do They Feel About You. So keep an eye out for all of that. Lots coming your way. Um, you take very good care of yourselves, Sagittarius, and have a beautiful week. Talk to you soon. God bless.